good fish. Oh, yeah, nice clean cut. Oh, good fish. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Double, two. Oh, sh <laughs> The winner was good. <laughs> oh, Look at that double. Yeah. Look at yeah. that double. Oh, that awesome. Take a picture of that one. That Look at that double. Oh, oh. double link on. Double link on on the double. Holy crap. What you're about to see is probably the most effective technique to use in shallow water when you're targeting transitions between sandy bottom and rocky bottom where the halibut and the lingcod, big rockfish actually reside. In this video, you're gonna see this exact rig. At the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to tie it and how I set it up. And then you're also gonna see it in action. You're gonna see some really good halibut, a limit of vermilion, and a limit of lingcod caught on this exact rig. So stay tuned guys, this is gonna be a really great video. Just to set it up, we got invited on this shallow water trip with a new friend named Mike that we met on the Starfire when we were targeting bluefin literally four days before this trip. So he brought us out and we targeted that shallow water really, really hard. So enjoy this video. What are we doing today, Albert? Well, we're gonna try to see if we can get a halibut. Halibut. <laughs> halibut, halibut. Uh, we're here with Mike, Jaime, and Albert. We're gonna do some shallow water halibut fishing. Hopefully we get some. Here we go, halibut. Just dancing along, huh? Currently in 58, 59 feet of water. Two biters? Rockfish? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh nice. we're on the rock. You got a link too? You get a link. Couple links on deck to start the day. Pretty good. Oh, he's there. That's he's a there, keeper. Yeah. That is a keeper link cod right there. All right, so far two link cod. One keeper, one 19 incher. They gotta be 22 to keep. Good start so far. Yeah, this rig is nice. Doesn't tangle at all. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fish. Yeah, he's a nine-ish kind of guy. He's nice. Pull and drag. No, he doesn't, he doesn't. Pull and drag? <laughs> Just cast it near that kelp over there. Oh, yeah. What are you, bud? Oh, it's a nice red. Oh, boy. Okay, that's a good kind. That's a good kind. That's a nice red. Look at that vermilion, guys. Wow. Holy cow. Yeah. On that hookup bait. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Right next to that kelp. There's got to be more. Ooh. There's life down there. There you go. Ah. Oh, still there? That's the nice thing about fishing shallow is you don't give them a bunch of barotrauma. They can go down pretty easy. They'll get back down there and... Is that what it's called when they come up? Yeah, when they come up and their eyes are all bulgy, yeah. tongue sticking out, look at this. Swim right down. There you go, bud. See ya. Phew. Ooh, there you go. Fish on. Edward, lighten them up. Oh, he's, he's, uh, he's pulling pretty good. Oh, another red. <laughs> nice red. Yeah, just keep doing what you're doing, whatever it is, man. Whatever I'm doing is working. You gotta get uh, three. Woo! Four, nine, ten, oh, dude. You gotta get the other solid red. On the gold. Yeah, he hit on the gold, huh? Beautiful. Nice. There, there you man. go. Gotta take advantage while the current's not too strong. Oh, we're coming up. We're coming to the kelp patty, but that means that we just got to be really careful with the rocks. But there's a chance for reds and lings right there. Yeah. But halibut do like to be right up against the rocks too. Yeah, that controlled like flutter down. That's when they hit too, because these baits like do this darting action when they're falling. Fish, fish. 
Nice. Oh, look at that. Nice. Big one, big one. Gaff, gaff. Here. Oh, oh. Keep his head in the water. Keep his head in the water. I got him. That's a nice one, nice. Jaime. That's a real wow. nice one, Jaime. Look at that. That is a big boy. Big glink hod. Look at that hookup bait way deep in his mouth. He's a monster. Him. Nice one, Jaime. Heck yeah, baby. Yeah. Jaime's going to be teaching a seminar later. <laughs> Oh shoot! Oh, I'm on a good one. Oh, oh yeah! Look at that. Are you on? <laughs> yeah, good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Good, job, good fish. I'm gonna need a net for sure. Okay, I'll get you. I got you. Good fish. Good. Edward's hot. Hot stick over here. Just because I'm next to Jaime. That's it. That's good. Good fish. Oh, yeah, nice lean cut. Oh, good fish. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Double, two. Oh, sh. I wonder if it was good. <laughs> Look at that double. Oh, yeah. Look at that double. Oh, that awesome. Take a picture of that one. Okay. Look at that double. Oh, double lean cod. Double lean cod on the double. Holy crap. I wonder if they're both. Woo! Whoa, for sure it is. Guys, I just doubled up on Lincot on this rig. Awesome. <laughs> I'm definitely showing you guys this rig at the end of this video, but doubled up. Two Lincot on one pull. That was crazy. Oh, he's a keeper. No. A keeper? No. 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 Just shy. Oh, he's right. He, no. Nope. Just shy. Mission game will save Just shy. Just yeah. shy. Uh -huh. We'll release him. Give him another chance. That one's definitely a keeper. Oh, that's definitely a keeper. Yeah, in this shallow water, you'll see the kelp, and that kelp's tied down while basically growing off of this rock structure. And I made a cast right there, and boom, two link hod. Insane. On this light bass gear, Lexa 300 on a Okuma swim bait rod. Man, it's just fun on this really light gear, dude. That's the fun part. It's like a little bass rod catching these dinosaurs what's that albert is that the right kind oh that's a big halibut should i gap it oh is that a white sea bass got there Albert whatever it is it's nice let's go Albert oh it's a halibut oh, oh sh it's big So if you guys don't know, this is Mike. He was in the previous episode catching a nice bluefin tuna out of Morro Bay. Yeah. And uh, since then, we've stayed in touch. Albert stayed in touch with him. Hold her up. Stay in the picture, Mike. Mike, you got to be in the picture, Mike. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Some excitement. Yeah. That was pretty cool. A little excitement. <laughs> First area. Did a couple good drifts. We picked up a total of five link cod, two keepers out of those link cod, a couple big reds, and a really nice halibut, and a few gopher, but it's definitely been productive on this rig, that's for sure. Hook up baits, double rig. The drift's totally different from earlier. Another ling? A good one? Oh, yeah. That might be a legal eagle. Yeah. 
You're on fire, Albert. Albert out of the link hog. You'll notice here the way I work the bait is I make sure there's slack in my line to make sure that that bait is on the bottom. Then I do quick pops up and let it fall it's and repeat. Oh, I'm on a fish. I'm on a good one. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, nice red. Nice red. Woo! Oh. He just off. Big red. Yeah! Go again! <laughs> it's coming! Another big red. That's my limit of big reds. We're getting some good rockfish action. I'm not mad at that. Are we over the sand you're talking about? No. Oh, I got another fish. Good heavy fish. Heavy fish. Heavy fish. Heavy. On bass gear, baby! Oh, on the bass gear. It's got some weight. Link on. Big ling, big ling, big ling. Net, please, yes. Taking drag. Big ling. Oh yeah. Get in the net. Oh yes. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Look at that fat hair. Oh. <laughs> Big ling, baby. Yeah. Oh, that's a tank. That is a toad. Oh yeah. That's a nice ling in there. Nice ling. After that link cod, we ended up drifting too far and we decided to go back to where Albert caught his yeah, halibut right since the water was right a little the, rough out where we just were. And... But even where we ended up, the wind was still crazy. It probably was about 15 knots to 20 knots or so, but the fishing was still good. So please excuse the wind noise. The wind was blowing the boat so hard that it was really tough to keep my bait on the bottom without letting go a lot of line. But I had to do it, and it paid off. Predator. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. Nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. That's a nice fish. The wind blew us off the water, but we did get some nice reds, like yeah, you guys saw. Your was 29. My halibut was 29. And then that's Albert's halibut at like 33. That's my lean cod at 29 and a half. What'd you think? It was your first time using the hookup baits? Yeah, I think I thought they were great. I really liked the way they worked and the the, to the lightweight stuff for sure was great today. Not having a reel up from 300 feet and bringing up monsters like we did was awesome. So yeah, we'll use it again for sure. Yeah. In fact, we bought more already. <laughs> this is true, this is true. It's time to show you guys exactly what we used, the rig from 
your line all the way down. I can't put into words how awesome it was just to catch all those fish on artificials. Again, we caught a limit of reds for me and Albert. We caught on the boat a total of six link cod. Out of those six link cod, four were keepers. It's that time of year when the link cod are starting to come in shallow. It's that fall to winter transition where the link cod are starting to go in shallow and those halibut are still left behind. So you'll be able to get them on this rig too. Not really exactly sure what this rig is called. I call it the double hookup bait rig. These are both one and a half ounce hookup baits. They come in a bunch of different colors. That day I was using the green and the purple and this gold color too. But I will leave a link below for you guys if you want to order some yourselves. But again, they are the one and a half ounce. But I'm going to take this apart and show you exactly how to rig it. Vince, what did you call the rig? A free lot. A, a, free, a free rig. A free rig. And the reason it's called a free rig, I'm going to just show you really quick the way that this works. You got your leader up here. And it's tied just like a Carolina rig to a swivel to about two feet or a foot and a half of leader line, but you have another swivel that slides on that leader line and then it stops with the bead. So you have two swivels there. So this one slides. So that's why it's called the free rig for some, some people. But again, I'm going to show you exactly how this is tied right now. What makes it effective is it doesn't tangle because they each have swivels. And when the bottom one drops, this one slides up the line and then it drops too. But if you're working it, it's really cool how these baits actually do this almost figure eight or they'll cross each other like two pieces of bait, two live bait that are just swimming around each other. So that's what makes it so enticing. So again, I'm gonna cut this all off and then I will retie so that we can show you exactly how it's done. And I do do something a little bit special at the bait itself that helps add more action. I tie this loop knot right here. And since it's not cinched right down to your line tie area, it actually allows it to have a little bit more free movement. As you saw from this video, it did really good on link cod and the halibut and the rockfish. I really am excited for when the sea bass start running and we're able to get on boats and use this for white sea bass because these hookup baits, they can imitate bait fish or they can even be good imitations of squid. All right, so here we go. We got our main line right here. First thing you're going to do is you're going to set that aside. What we're going to do is we're going to get our leaders tied first. So we'll get that kind of two foot for the main hookup bait. We'll just make a quick overhand knot. Nice and small. Like that. And then we'll slide on our bait. And we'll go through that knot. Just like that. And we'll twist around your leader line. One, two, three, four, I like five wraps. And then now, now you just slide that tag end right back in through that overhand knot that you made and you'll moisten it. Now you should be able to pull it tight. There you go. There's your loop knot. So I'll do that to the other one and I'll tie the other end of the swivel. So I'll go ahead and cut off right here and tie on a swivel using any knot that you want. I'll just do a quick uni. Bam. So that's the first part. And I'm basically going to do the same exact thing to that other hookup bait, but just a little bit shorter. So again, this is about 18, 18 inches or so. I'll probably go a four inch difference. So maybe a, a one foot leader for the top one. So there's our two separate leaders with our baits on the end of each one and then swivels at the top on each one. And then one is longer than the other by about four inches. So now we go back to our main line and we will slide on the shorter hookup bait. And then now, we're going to 
slide on a bead and that's going to keep the two swivels apart and they will never lock onto each other. That'll really keep this a free rig. It's optional, but I really like doing that just to ensure that the two swivels don't lock up and create tangles. And now it's ready to fish the double hookup bait rig or the free line rig. And they should dance around each other without any tangles and twists because they're both free to move around on the line. And then just in terms of setup, what I was using on this day is the Okuma Guide Select uh, swim bait rod. This one is rated up to five ounces, so it's one to five ounces. This combined is three ounces with the one and a half and the one and a half. So it definitely handles very well. This one's a seven foot six rod and I have it paired with a Daiwa Lexa 300 because we're really targeting the shallows. Anything under a hundred foot, it definitely handled very well. So again, Lexa 300, Okuma Guide Select. I'll leave links too for things that are comparable if you are looking at something like that. In terms of line, uh, this is 30 pound braid and all of the leader material uh, all the way down to the hookup baits is 30 pound test. You can go up to like 40 or 50 if you really want, but I do like that lighter presentation. But guys, I hope this video helped you guys and you try this rig out next time you are targeting shallow water for halibut or rockfish because this thing definitely gets bit. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next episode.